rhizocephalan parasites are not typical barnacles that attach themselves to substrate and remain sessile. Rhizocephalans invade their hosts and develop a rootlet system that gradually takes over the host crab body. The parasite can change the behavior of the host crab and its sex to use to its advantage. The parasite castrates the crab when the rootlet system grows through the gland that produces the hormones which produce male sexual characteristics. Without these hormones, the male crab is essentially female, although the infected individual is sometimes called an intersex. When a male crab is castrated, it begins to develop secondary female sexual characteristics. The sixth abdominal segment is normally wider in males infected with the parasite because the host is growing to incorporate the parasite size and because a wider abdomen is a female secondary sexual characteristic. The general survival strategy of the parasite is to make the male crabs into females in order to give their larvae a better chance at finding another host through the attraction of mates to the crab. The unparasitized male crabs will be attracted to the parasitized crabs because they are behaving like females. This allows the parasite to get close enough to infect the males who are attracted by the faux females. After the crabs have been taken over by the parasite rootlet system, the parasite begins to develop in the abdominal cavity of the host. An externe develops inside the host until the barnacle larvae are ready to be released into the environment. The externe is a growth of parasitic cells that houses the cyprus larvae of the parasite until the conditions are right for their release. Once the larvae are ready, the externe pushes out of a segment in the thorax of the crab and is clearly visible on the apron. The color of the externe holds a clue to the amount of time that the crab has been infected. A white externe means that the parasite larvae are still immature. The darker the externe the longer the infection has been going on. The darker brown externe means that the larvae are mature and will soon be released into the environment. The development of the externe means that the host crab can no longer grow or molt. Normally, this makes parasitized crabs much smaller than unparasitized crabs. The life cycle of a rhizocephalan parasite begins as a cyprus larva that is released from the externe of an infected crab into the water. The larva floats in the water column until it comes upon crabs that have just molted. The cyprus larvae can only invade the host after they have molted because the shells are soft and vulnerable to attack. Once on the shell of the crab, the cyprus larvae metamorphose into chondrogen larvae which begin to inject themselves into the crab's body via a needle-like cuticle called a vermignon, which is actually a protective cuticle around the parasite's cells. Once inside the host, the chondrogen larvae follow the circulatory system until they reach the abdominal cavity. There, the larvae attach themselves to the host's tissues and begins to grow their rootlet system. The development of an entony begins after the rootlet system reaches the appropriate size. Once this entony is big enough it pushes out the carapace and becomes exposed to the water. It is now called an externe. The externe is fertilized by male cyprus larvae in the water. The larvae inside the externe now begin to cause the color of the externe to change. Once the color turns dark, the cyprus larvae are released into the environment. <laughs>